morning everyone, it's Karen from Mayfly Life. Today I'm going to do an all natural lipstick and I'm going to show you how I tint. Because some people have asked uh, how do I make a tinted lip balm or lipstick and today I'm going to show you how to do a natural lipstick. You can use all sorts of pigments and different uh, types of uh, colorants uh, like uh, powder wise uh, or even liquid. Uh, you can go with um, you know a uh, a colorant, a lipstick colorant that you can get from like the the um, soap supply companies. Uh, me, I would prefer doing it like an all natural instead of a synthetic. So what I can choose from is uh, like a red oxide, mica powder, activated charcoal, even cocoa powder, and food coloring. So I'm going to show you today how I do this. Stay tuned. Okay everyone, welcome back. I'm going to, uh, in this uh, Pyrex uh, glass jar, I'm going to uh, combine one tablespoon of grated beeswax. And what I've done here is this is a deodorized and filtered uh, beeswax because I want it to be white. I don't want to have all that color uh, inside my uh, inside my lipstick. So to the glass bowl I'll add that. I'll add a same amount, tablespoon of shea butter and as you can see I've got that. So what I'll do is I'll just scoop it out with my good old knife that I use to grate my, <laughs> my beeswax. And then you're going to need a tablespoon of coconut oil because it is more solid um, than if you use a, a liquid uh, liquid oil. So you want that. So you notice that, and this is all the ingredients that go into it. Uh, and you'll notice that they're all more solid uh, oils, butters, and waxes. So as you can get the consistency of a lipstick rather than a bomb. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to my microwave or a double boiler. In this case, I'm doing my microwave because it's a little bit faster and easier. I'm going to microwave it on, uh, on low and let it uh, melt slowly. Okay, I'm back. And you can see that uh, the... Uh, Shea butter and beeswax and coconut oil have nicely melted and you want it to be melted like this completely so that you can actually, uh, once you put the color in, uh, you're going to want to uh, easily pour it into uh, a lip tube, so a lip balm tube, so yeah. So now we're going to add the color. Okay, so I'm going to add, uh, today I want to do sort of like a, a pink, pinky red color. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, in total an eighth of a teaspoon, but with uh, a mixture of a Vancouver Island Sunrise, uh, which is a nice pink, and uh, red iron oxide. And uh, I want to try that and, and experiment. So you're coming along for the ride here. So I'm just putting in a little bit of, of red oxide because it's pretty, pretty potent. Pretty potent. And I'm doing little bit, about the same amount of the pink mica. Not much more. I don't want to overdo it because uh, it can uh, it can get overwhelming uh, color wise and uh, that's exactly what the oxide would do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it and I'm going to mix it really really well. And it's going to give it, because of the mica, it's going to give it a beautiful, beautiful sheen. So it's, it's going to be a soft pink. And normally, okay, what I'll do is you'll strain it through a, uh, a cheesecloth because that way you can grab some of the bits that uh, didn't dissolve. Um, but for these purposes, for this demonstration, I'm just going to pour it straight in and um, into the lip balm tube and uh, not 
get uh, the sediment that floats to the bottom after after you've stirred this all up. But but yeah, you can see that the consistency is nice and fluid, and the color is actually very pretty. It's a it's a ready pink, which is uh, what I wanted. Okay, and you make sure that you mix it really well. Make sure you mix it really well. And so now I'm going to just take my lip balm tube and pour it in. And there you go. You've got yourself a nice colored lipstick. It's not going to be scented or it's not going to be flavored because most lipsticks are not, that I've seen, have not been flavored. So give it a try. You can use anywhere from micas to natural uh, ingredients like turmeric powder, uh, paprika, whatever you choose to use. And that's exactly how you make a lipstick. Okay, everybody, I'm just showing you. This is uh, the hardened lipstick and this is the color you're going to get. It's going to be a little translucent but you get that stain. I love this color. It's actually very pretty. So go ahead and try it. It's easy to make. Simple. Three ingredients and your colorants. Uh, next time I think I'm going to experiment and I'm going to try activated charcoal. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>